Good morning and welcome to our time of morning prayer on this Tuesday. I'm going to begin with a chant from the Teze community, Holy Spirit, come to us. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty doings of the Lord or declare all his praise? Happy are those who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favour to your people. Help me when you deliver them, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory in your heritage. Both we and our ancestors have sinned. We have committed iniquity, have done wickedly. Our ancestors, when they were in Egypt, did not consider your wonderful works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but rebelled against the Most High at the Red Sea. Yet he saved them for his name's sake, so that he might make known his mighty power. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it became dry. He led them through the deep as through a desert. So he saved them from the hand of the foe and delivered them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. Then they believed his words 
and they sang his praise. But they soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel. But they had a wanton craving in the wilderness, and God put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but sent a wasting disease among them. They were jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the fit faction of Abiram. Fire also broke out in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped a cast image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God their saviour who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore he said he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Then they despised the pleasant land, having no faith in his promise. They grumbled in their tents and did not obey the voice of the Lord. Therefore he raised his hand and swore to them that he would make them fall in the wilderness and would disperse their descendants among the nations, scattering them over the lands. Then they attached themselves to the Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They provoked the Lord to anger with their deeds and a plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and interceded and the plague was stopped. And that has been reckoned to him as righteousness from generation to generation forever. They angered the Lord at the waters of Meribah, and it went ill with Moses on their account. For they made his spirit bitter, and he spoke words that were rash. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but they mingled with the nations and learned to do as they did. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. They poured out innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus they became unclean by their acts and prostituted themselves in their doings. Then the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he abhorred his heritage. He gave them into the hand of the nations, so that those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their power. Many times he delivered them, but they were rebellious in their purposes, and were brought low through their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their distress when he heard their cry. For their sake he remembered his covenant, and showed compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. He caused them to be pitied by all who held them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. 
Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Our New Testament reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, beginning at verse 41. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognised on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you, surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. So let us pray. This day, Father, we pray for all in the world who do not know the name of Jesus. Give to them, Lord, knowledge of the love that is beyond knowledge and understanding of true riches of your glory. Lord, the whole family of heaven and on earth is named by you. Give grace to our families to reflect your perfect love in our human love. Bless those in our own communities who work to bring food and comfort to those who are unwell and those who are in want. Lord, have mercy upon those who lack the food that they need. Prosper all efforts to relieve hunger in the world. Grant help and courage to all who cannot properly feed those that they love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we give you thanks for the life of your church here in Sandersted and Riddlesdown. We pray, Lord, for our people here, for the community in which we sit, and for the wider diocese of Southwark. We pray, Lord, for our bishops, Christopher and Jonathan, 
And we pray, Lord, for those who are unwell in our church here at St. Mary's. We remember especially today Kim Brown and Alison Brewster. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the joy that we have now that we are able to see more of our families and friends. Give us wisdom, give us courage, but also, Lord, grant us patience. Make us always, Lord, mindful of those around about us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all who have died and those whose anniversaries fall at this time. And we pray especially today, Lord, for Angela and her family as they mourn the loss of Richmond. We thank you, Lord, that you have gathered Richmond into the fellowship of the saints, where he may rejoice in your heavenly feast forever. Holy Spirit, send your comfort to all who mourn this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, send down upon your church the riches of your spirit and kindle in all who minister the gospel your countless gifts of grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
to 